How to clean a rusty wok. If you don't use your wok very often, there's a chance that it could acquire some rust. Even though my wok is in heavy rotation, I've had to deal with rust from time to time. When this happens, I turn to reputable websites and forums to find out how other home chefs have handled the problem. All of the advice I've received has been invaluable, enough so that I decided to share it. If there's rust on your wok's surface, moisture is the culprit. It's imperative to dry the utensil thoroughly before putting it away. Rust comes about as a result of oxidization, during which iron reacts with oxygen and water to create hydrated iron oxide. Is there any way to restore a rusty wok? Yes, you can absolutely restore rusty woks and get many more years of use out of them. Don't let anyone tell you that rusty utensils need to be discarded. In most cases, all they require is a bit of time, effort, and elbow grease. Is it safe to cook using a rusty wok? The answer is no. While the metal itself will still be safe to use once you've removed all the rust, it's not permissible to cook with a rusty pan or utensil of any type. When it comes to cleaning, it's best to avoid metal scrubbers like steel wool. In some cases, you may have no choice but to apply steel wool, but if you do, re-seasoning will be in order. Use a regular sponge or washcloth to remove debris from the wok surface. A wok brush or scouring pad, such as the type made by Scotch-Brite, would also work, as long as they don't remove the seasoning. Cleaning a rusty pan isn't all that different from removing caked-on food after each use. For optimum results, follow these steps. First, fill the wok with warm water and allow it to soak for about 5 minutes. Then apply a gentle sponge or cleaning pad to the affected areas. Scrub until the rust is gone, then rinse well. You may need to repeat the process a few times. For particularly severe cases, you can resort to steel wool or sandpaper in order to remove the rust. Finally, make sure the utensil is completely dry before you put it back in the cupboard. To find out more, follow the link below.